imported needle of comet. And there's a record inside? Gee, I wonder what it sounds like. I'm going to give you a lesson in art. It's time, it's time, it's time to learn. Did I hear Batman just went into that building to save the Picasso? Oh, my, Inspector Mulligan. Do you think, do you think you'll make it? Lesson in art. Ways to build a comic book. In this video, I'm going to show you four different ways to build comic books. If Batman sets out to do something, rest assured it will be done. I'm going into the warehouse to get the Picasso. I'm going to give you a lesson in art. Way number one. For this, you're going to need three pieces of paper. You fold them all in half together to make your comic book. Once they're folded together, you label each page number. The reason you're going to need to label each page number is because you don't staple these and sometimes the pages fall apart and so if you label each page number you'll be able to put them together again in the right order. If your comic falls apart, it will help you put your comic book back together again in the right way. Do you think you'll make it? Way number two. For the second way, you will need a stapler and two staples to make this comic book. So what you do is you get three separate pieces of paper. You put them all together and fold them all together. The more neatly that you can fold your paper together, the easier it will be to use it as a comic book. Once you have all three pages folded together, Place one staple in one corner of the folded side and another staple on the other side. Do you think you'll make it? Way number three. For this way, you will need a scissors and a stapler along with your paper. So what you do is you fold your paper in half and then fold your paper in half again. This will make your paper folded into quarters or four separate sections. Once you've folded your paper into four separate sections, you put two staples on the folded side. This will be the spine of the comic book. Spine just means the back of the comic book, where all the pages are put together. There is a problem with this, though. There is a few folds that you're going to need to cut. They are located on either the top or the bottom of your comic, depending on the direction it's in. After you cut off that folded side, your comic book should open up quite nicely. It's good to go through all the pages to check to see your folds are cut all the way. I'm going to give you a lesson in art. Way number four. For this way, you're going to need to take one piece of paper, fold it in half, keep it folded, and fold it one more time. Keep it folded, and fold it one more time after that. If you did it correctly, you should be able to open your paper up and have it equally divided in eight little sections. Put it back together and put two staples in the spine of your comic book. Remember, the spine is the back of the comic book, the place where all the pages are put together. Get your comic book pages to turn correctly. You're going to need to use your scissors to cut all three of the sides of your comic book this also cleans up the fold too and makes it look nice and neat. If you're careful when you're cutting, your pages should be easy to turn. It's best to double check to make sure that you can turn all of your pages. Sometimes the cuts don't go all the way through the folds and so you need to check before you start to draw on them. The cool part about these minis is they fit in your pocket. The Gotham City Museum of Fine Arts. We're on our way. Here you are, Mr. Waterbury, the real Picasso. Careful, it's a bit warm. Thank heavens you're safe, Batman. Oh, this picture is hot. 
Well, who cares? It's safe. To review, way number one is when you take three pieces of paper and fold them all together. Then you label the page numbers so you, if it falls apart, you can put it back together in the right order. Way number two is when you take three pieces of paper, fold them all together, and put two staples in the spine of the comic book. Way number three is you take a piece of paper and fold it into fourths or quarters, staple the back, and then use the scissors to trim the other additional folds that you don't need anymore. And way number four, you take one piece of paper, fold it into eighths, staple the spine, and cut all three other sides to make it so that pages will turn. Society would reap a great benefit. Come, Robin, into the Batmobile and home. Take care of each other for me.